today we're going to talk about the dark history behind nursery rhymes. Many of you might be already aware of it, but some of us at least might be still teaching these nursery rhymes to our children or talking about it without knowing the dark history behind it. So here it is. First one, Baba Black Ship, 1731. Most scholars believe that this was a response to the great custom, a tax imposed on wool in 1275. And in this theory, the king is the master and dame is the monasteries that had a share in the uh, royalty that the king collected. Now, the problem with this is that the usage black. So there is a post-colonial tension in it. So later, there is a source that says maybe we should use rainbow sheep so that this doesn't uh, go to a dark post-colonial past. Here we go around the mulberry bush. Well, according to historian R.S. Duncan, this was used first by female inmates in the Wakefield prison where they had to exercise around a mulberry bush or tree in the prison yard. The women would dance with their children around this mulberry tree which uh, still stands today and maybe it was an attempt to teach them the rhyme or just to keep them entertained. Three blind mice, three blind mice, see how they run? Well, this is believed to be about the Bloody Mary, the queen who liked to kill Protestants. Uh, the three blind mice refers to the three Protestant bishops who um, plotted against her and she ended up burning them at stake in 1555. The cutting of tails represent the burning. Now later the children's adaptation or version came in 19th century and it has different lines. Ring around the roses, pocket full of posies. Well, this is about, or this is said to be about the bubonic plague, the Black Death in London in 1665. It had the characteristic, the rosy ring shaped rash. The posies could be a reference to the herbs that the people would carry in their pockets, and when they die, they are burnt ashes. But contrary to popular belief, this is a myth because it, the origin, the earliest origin of this rhyme is found to be in the Victorian era, not relating to the um, bubonic plague. Well, I, I should say that they didn't know what hygiene, proper hygiene is. So they believed that they would get sick because of bad smells. So they would carry, let's say, roses or something that smells very fragrant in their pockets to ward off bad smells so that they don't get sick. Well, the last lines, children falling to the ground, ashes, yes, it does seem a lot closer to the play. But if you think about it, if it doesn't actually date back, and also if you think about the hygiene and how it might be trying to tell the children and people to keep posies or herbs inside their pockets to ward off bad smells so that they don't die, they don't die of sickness, that also makes sense. Mary had a little lamb, little lamb. This is not uh, part of the dark history series. So, well, I thought we could end this video on a cheerful note. That's why I've included Mary had a little lamb. This is actually based on a true story. Mary Sawyer, uh, who lived in Massachusetts in 1930s, she actually took her pet sheep to school. Spoiler, the fleece was white as snow. Um, she actually found this pet sheep uh, unoffend and you know hurt. So they, she took it in and cared for it and nursed it back to health and it wouldn't leave her side. Even when she would go to school, well one day, well she sort of maybe you know um, encouraged the sheep to follow too. The sheep followed her to school and Mary hid her in the classroom. But when Mary had to speak up or go to the front, the sheep 
<laughs> came out and there was a commotion about it. So that's how this uh, rhyme came to be. I hope you like this video. There are a lot more other nursery rhymes that we know has a dark history. We even connected to the British history like uh, the Pussycat Pussycat and uh, Queen and you know uh, one of her uh, assistants or sirs. So uh, we are not going to talk about in detail. Well this is a start for you to start researching on your own. If you like this video please like, share and subscribe. Bye.